On this episode of John Marucci on the Road, we'll review Oak Mountain State Park in Pelham, Alabama, just south of Birmingham. The park has 9,940 acres, making it Alabama's largest state park with over 50 miles of trails, including significant mountain biking trails. There are also opportunities for other recreational activities, including horseback riding facilities, beaches, swimming, and fishing lakes. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. I made the jump to traveling with my R-Pod back in 2016 and have never looked back. I've had my share of problems along the way, and this channel attempts to be what I wish I had when I started out. So let's go ahead and jump in. The park started in 1927 as a 940-acre park as part of the Alabama State Lands Act. It has grown into the large park it is today and even attained a TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellence Award in 2020. Overall, the campground is well kept and has many full hookup RV sites, especially for a state park. The campground is nested in a very nice rustic area that makes it feel like you're out in the woods. Here are some campground facts. It's comprised of two areas, the A and B sections, with a total of 151 campsites mixed between tent and RV sites. All RV sites have water and electric. Section A has 30 RV sites and 48 tent sites. All but two of the 30 RV sites have sewer connections. Section B has 54 RV sites and 19 tent sites with 29 of the 54 RV sites having sewer hookups. There's one dump station that can accommodate a single RV at a time. The dump station ratio is very good as there are only 27 RV sites without sewer connections. It's the first state park I personally stayed at that has a propane refill and exchange station. Probably the main draw of the park, besides the woodsy feel and many full hookup sites, are the hiking trails and lakes, as well as other recreational opportunities. There are challenging mountain biking trails as well as equestrian riding. The sheer size of the park facilitates many opportunities for recreation. Likely the main drawback of the park is the age of the bathhouses and moderate cell data bandwidth. Before we get into the five criteria that we cover for campground reviews, we want to let you know that we now have a free state park booking window and reservation guide available on johnmarucci.com. This downloadable PDF provides vital booking window information for state parks that will allow you to better plan your next great trip. Just visit johnmarucci.com and click on the resources page in the downloads area. There are five criteria we look at when rating a campground. First up, hospitality and check-in. We give this a 4 out of 5 mainly because it did require us to physically depart the vehicle and come to the ranger station window to get checked in. This sort of check-in method is actually less frequent these days given the current public health situation. Next in our review is infrastructure and amenities, which are also going to give a 4 out of 5. The campground roads are paved and each site has electric and water and there are a large number of full hookup sites. There are laundry facilities and three bathhouses in each campground section. The bathhouses themselves, however, are older and likely in need of a full remodel. The campground is well maintained and clean, however there is no gate or passcode to enter the campground after hours. Site quality also gets a 4 out of 5 as there is a large difference in the quality and privacy of the various sites. Most sites are semi-private with some distance between them. Some sites have very little if any distance between them. All have electric and water, fire pits, picnic tables, and are basically level. Most RV sites are paved with a few being gravel. If you do visit for tent camping, many of the sites are very uniquely positioned in the terrain, making for an interesting tent camping experience. Next, our exercise ability rating is 5 out of 5 for the many ways to get a great workout in. For running, there are many miles of hilly park roadways with wide bike lanes as well as off-road trails. There are miles of multi-use trails to explore along lakes and various terrain. Besides running, there are the popular mountain biking trails and lakes that allow for fishing, kayaking, and canoeing. Finally, we're going to give a 3 out of 5 for workability as the bandwidth for AT&T was weak, with Verizon only being slightly better. Using an iPhone 10, we had speeds of 4.04 megabits per second down and 0.2 megabits per second up on AT&T. Using our Verizon Jetpack MiFi, 
we experienced speeds of 7.99 megabits per second down and 0.54 megabits per second up. We understand that there is also some Wi-Fi provided at the campground, but we didn't use it. Generally, the campground is very quiet for working. Overall, we thought Oak Mountain was an excellent place to stay and explore. We would certainly recommend the campground for passing through, whether traveling north or south through Alabama. We would also recommend it for a several day excursion to explore it more fully. It is a unique and relaxing place that feels like a retreat in the woods, yet with many sites having full hookups. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. We'd love to have you join the On The Road team by subscribing to the channel. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. And you can also follow us on Facebook at John Marucci On The Road. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. This is John Marucci and so long for now.